Ε, οπότε φανταστείτε αν το Oh My God έχει ένα κουμπί από εδώ ε, που θα μέναμε στο Coco Mode. So, the GNOME project today released GNOME 42, the latest version of its open source desktop environment. Hashtag kiss with closed eyes. New features, UI tweaks, and performance gains are a staple part of every new GNOME desktop update, but none more so than here, in GNOME 42. GNOME 42 source code is available to download from the GNOME website from today. However, most Linux users will want to wait for their distro maintainers to package it up and push it out to them. Don't want to wait? You can use a GNOME OS image in the Box's virtual machine app. So, we'll start with the most observable changes, the visuals. Most of GNOME 42's core apps, with the exception of Nautilus, now use a lib adway to style sheet as their default theme as do a swathe of third-party and community apps written in GTK4. This change is more than just skin deep, libadweta offers a lighter, rounder and more compact look than earlier versions of adweta, and includes a more modern looking toolbar buttons, menus, toggles, info boxes etc. An updated GNOME shell theme also features in GNOME 42. This uses less space, boasts better contrast, and does away with triangular callouts from panel applets. On-screen bubbles, for example when changing brightness and volume, are also smaller and more compact than before. GNOME 42 supports a new free desktop dark mode preference too. Hashtag hugging. GTK4 apps opt in to respect this setting by default, though apps can offer an individual override. A transition fade effect makes switching between light and dark mode feel fluid, with GNOME's default wallpaper also changing depending on dark and light modes. GNOME 42 comes with a new screenshot feature. This makes it easier to take screenshots and screen recordings without needing to install or open other apps. Just hit print screen, you can change the shortcut, and an interactive overlay appears from which you can snap or record the whole screen, a selection portion, or a specific app window. A pair of new apps make their formal debut in GNOME 42, Console, an alternative to GNOME's Terminal, and Text Editor, a simplified analog to G-Edit but with a more modern UI and some interesting features like autosave. Nautilus doesn't boast a GTK4 revamp in this release, but it does gain a new path bar that supports scrolling, a new end of path bar context menu, and a more roomy files and folders renaming popover. Other changes include, video supports hardware accelerated decoding, Reduced memory usage and faster performance in tracker. Reduced input latency. Redesigned display, appearance and user settings. Web supports hardware accelerated rendering on all websites. Reduced energy consumption for video playback. Maps now shows icons for U-turns and turn-by-turn -turn routing. Remote desktop connections use the RDP protocol. Say, keep it to the